Hey, what's up? And today we're going to be reviewing my past outfits and we're going to be seeing how bad my style was back in 2020 and then hopefully how much better it's gotten this year. And yeah, we're just going to look at a few outfits throughout that period of time. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get started. Got my trusty cup of tea and some chocolate orange bites. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Uh, March 2020, so this was during COVID, and I was still at university. Um, my hair is very different back then. This outfit, uh, obviously now, I think it's horrible, but back then I loved because I want to wear tight-fitting clothes to make me look bigger because I'm quite small. And then obviously the skinny jeans as well. With this outfit, I'll probably give it like a two out of ten just because I really don't like it. Okay. Second one, a June 2020, so summer. Went to a barn to take some photos with some friends. Decided to wear some skinny joggers, some black skinny joggers with some Ultra Boost, which I still have today, because they're quite comfortable. And then, again, you can see that, you know, I wore quite tight t-shirts. <laughs> this one is the Uniqlo. I can't remember what the, what the sub name for it was. It might be the crew neck, but I always used to buy only XS and S because the goal was to make myself look huge <laughs> which obviously wasn't you know this one maybe like it, you know it's a bit plain so I'd say like a 2.5 out of 10 okay next one August 2020 uh, went to the Lake District here and this is quite a similar outfit to the last photo that we just saw um, except that I'm wearing shorts and so this one yeah, the same. Okie dokie. June 2021. So this was at a, a friend's engagement party. And this shirt that I was wearing was too tight for me. I don't even know why I wore it. Probably because it was one of the only shirts that I had. Um, top blue skinny jeans. Um, hair's looking okay. I would give this maybe like a 3.5 out of 10. I think that's reasonable. Okay, February 2022. So by this point, I'd already moved to London and I was there for a few months. So I think I started to be influenced by, you know, the, the quote unquote center of fashion. And so I got myself some straight leg Levi's. Here I'm wearing a quarter zip with a checkered scarf and a Padded coat. I think the padded coat is too long. I mean, I still have this coat, but I don't really wear it. So I think this one is going to be, I'd say, 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Okay, August 2022, trying on a vest in a changing room. I was wearing my uh, Pull and Bear black trousers. So I think this fit deserves like a 4 as well. And this one is August 2022. Since so August last year, you know, started wearing the, the Arizona Oversized. Shout out to Tim DeSaint. Thank you for telling me to start my channel and thank you for introducing me to these t shirts because <laughs> they are the best. So, the Uniqlo Oversized Arizona in black and then the Pull and Bear trousers and then my axles. This one, I'll say like a five. Solid five. Okay, September last year. This is one of my favorite outfits of all time, just because you know, even though the beige clashes with the beige as in my coat clashes with my trousers, there's the white to break it even. So in terms of this outfit, I'll give it like a seven. Okay, we're into October now, so it's a bit colder. October last year, turtleneck with a Arizona oversized over the turtleneck. I think this is quite similar to how a lot of like artists dress. I think that's where I got my like inspiration from. But yeah, this one, I'll give it like a 7.2. I quite like the colours. Okay, this one is okay. I don't love this outfit, uh, but I think here I was trying to experiment with a more open silhouette at the bottom. So in that respect, I'd give this like a 6.5. Okay, next one. We are October 2022. I love this weekday oversized blazer. I still have it and I've worn it so much in the past year. It's one of my favourite pieces. I think with this one, with this outfit, although I love it, it would have been better with black trousers. This I'll give like a 7.8. Next one. I don't like my trousers in this one, but 
but the other pieces are quite nice. So maybe like a seven. So November last year, this outfit is one of my favorite outfits just because of the contrast between the beige and the navy. And obviously the cap as well is quite bright color. And the shoes are quite subtle. I wanted the sort of cap to stand out. Uh, that was a tip that I learned from Tim to say actually. <laughs> If you're trying to if you're trying to make colours pop, try and just pick one colour to pop and the rest of the outfit to be quite neutral. This one is in the changing room again, being clear. I was trying on some trousers. Uh, I really wanted this vest actually, but it looks a bit too long on me. Because of those reasons, this is like a six. Even though I'm wearing the Arism oversized, you know, t-shirt. March this year now. Well, I can't believe it's October. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it's nearly November. Uh, I love this outfit so much. I'll give this like a nine, just because, you know, I was wearing the Izzy Miyake dupes that my friend got me. And then this fleece is one of my favorite pieces from COS, 530s, pop out of the outfit, and I'm wearing rings as well. My hair's looking pretty decent. Like, this deserves a mine, so there's no doubt about that, to be honest. And May this year, this one is quite interesting. This one I think deserves an eight, just because it's quite, I would say it's a little bit out there. It's starting to experiment with like more accessories. Uh, last but not least, this one is from May as well. The next day, on this day it was quite warm, so I wore a vest over my uh, white um, Uniqlo Arism oversized t-shirt and then the palace. This one deserves, I want to say like a 9.5, like a 9.5, just because I think all the colours work very well. I love the silhouette as well um, that, the, that the jeans create because they're baggy but they're straight leg. Going through all of my outfits the past three years, I got my inspiration from watching Fallu Jubas like Tim DeSaint. Daniel Simmons, um, but also from Pinterest, from Instagram, I follow like uniform display and those hats like that. So I think it's just a collection of everything and then also being London as well. Just the fashion scene, seeing what other people are wearing, um, seeing what I liked and uh, seeing if I could recreate that. I want to thank you guys for watching um, this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share. It would help me out a lot. So let me know what you thought of my outfits down in the comments below, that would be quite interesting. Let me know which one was your favourite, it might differ from what I think. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!